Hello friends. In this session we will learn how to use XFLO5 software to design and simulate our RC airplane. In olden days, before computers, engineers used to design airplanes on paper using theories, formulas and methods. This is the software version of methods where we don't have to do any calculations. We just give inputs and get outputs. XFLR software is basically focused on designing airplanes which flies below the speed of sound, that is, low Reynolds number. Physics for designing aircraft which are flying more than speed of sound is very complex. XFLR 5 software uses three methods to calculate results. Three methods are lifting line theory, vortex lattice method, and 3D panel method. For now, we will not focus in this part and let's move to the downloading the software. Let's download the software. For that, we will go to the Google and simply search for XFLR5. We will select the second option and just sim simply click on download button. It will download automatically. Since I have already done this part, so I'll skip this. After downloading the software, we will unzip the folder and we will open the software. Inside the software, we can see two options over here. In the option section, we have the preference. In the preference, we have five options updates, save options, we, we will leave these both as it is. In the display option, we have the options to change the background color as well as font. In the language section, we can choose any of the language whichever available. In the unit section, we will change the unit of length from meter to centimeter and area from meter square to centimeter square and we will close this section. Now. In the file section, we have basic options like new option, opening the last option, inserting the project, close the project, save and save as the project. After this, we have four options, direct foil design, xfoil inverse design, xfoil direct analysis and wing and plane design. For this session, we will be mainly focusing on direct foil design and wing and plane design. Now in direct foil design main role for this function is to import airfoil in our case we also use this function for modifying airfoils now to import airfoil we will go to the foil section and there we will go to the naka files here we have to write the last four digit of airfoil like for naka 6412 we, we will type 6412 And here we can see we have imported our airfoil. We can change the color from this section so it's now more visible. This was very simple way to, uh, to import the airfoil. Now since we have imported our airfoil, so what if there is an airfoil which is not available in this folder, Naka files folder. I will show you the another way to import the airfoils in XFLR5. For that, first we have to go to the browser. Search for airfoiltools.com. And on that website, search your search airfoil by its name. Like in our case, it's Naka 6412. Here we will go with the first option. And here you can see the image of the airfoil as well as every single detail about the airfoil. Reynolds number, it graphs. We will select on this option, select format that file. 
now we will copy the coordinates and we will save the coordinates in the notepad I am saving this on desktop and I name it as Naka6412 don't forget to add that since XFLA supports that file now here we can see I have a Naka6412 over here For now, I'll just delete this effort. And after clicking on open, I'll search for that effort. And here we go. We have imported the effort from website. This way, you can import any type of effort you want. Now we have successfully imported effort for our wing. But what about horizontal and vertical stabilizers? So for that. We will use simply Naka 006 F file. For that, we will go to the Naka files. We will type 0006. And we will get that F file. If you want to choose any other F file for horizontal stabilizers, you can directly import that F files from F file tools. Now we are done for this part and we will move to designing designing the plane. Now to design and simulate our airplane, we will go to wing and plane design. Over here you can see axis where after importing the data we will get the design of our airplane. So start with designing our airplane, we will go to the plane and define a new plane. Inside that we will just type the name for now I am typing I am keeping the name as fixed in zoom after this we will go to the define defining the properties of wing over here we will type the dimensions of wing which we have calculated you can take any dimensions whichever you want if you want to play with the dimensions or if you want to play with the wing properties this software is perfect for you we will type 50 centimeters here we have to give the dimension of one side of the wing here you can see as I have typed 50 centimeter over here I am getting the span as 100 centimeter chord will be 20 both the sides offset will be 0 since it's not a swept back wing, it's just a simple rectangular wing, and we'll select the air pole. Here we have Naka 2412. Save. Similar with the elevator section. The elevator section, our span will be 20, so the overall swell will be 40. You can see over here, chord will be 10. At the end, chord will be 10. 0 offset and we will select file as Naka 0006. This is a symmetrical airfoil mostly used for simulations of horizontal stabilizers and vertical stabilizers. This behaves as a plane sheet. And now we will save this too. And for rudder, we will go into fin section and define the fin. Over here, we will type the span and offset 0 we will select the same airfoil now I got triple zero six and save now you can see the cat model of our airplane we can change the distance of fins and elevator from here section I will just change the fin section from 65 to 60. So now let's look to the fuselage or the body part. As we move to the body, we can see the bonding. In 
included in the body in the analysis is not recommended because exophila 5 is not designed to simulate the fuselage but still if we want to add the body we can go over here and add it here you can see by changing this data we can change the dimensions of fuselage but for now we, we will discard that part and we will not to add the bodies for simulation accuracies now let's move to the main part analysis and simulation for analysis and simulation we will go to the analysis section and define analysis over here we have four options fixed wing fixed lift fixed angle of attack and beta range most of the simulations are done using type 1 and we will use that section that part only over here you have to type the speed at which you want your aircraft uh, simulation for example you want to know what will be the aircraft lift at 10 meter per second while it's flying at 10 meter per second so you will write over here 10 meter per second in the analysis section you can see different different options we'll select in vortex method because it is very accurate for calculating lift and we will leave all part as it is save okay now we will type the sequence from minus 5 to 5 which means we want data or we want the properties of wing from angle minus 5 to 5 we want to know the data of wing how will it it will behave when it is uh, between minus 5 to 5 at 0 degree the airplane is producing coefficient of lift of 0 0.372 but we want to know the force the lift force which is produced by the wing at 0 degree so first we will understand that on which axis lift force is acting so lift force is acting perpendicular to the wing and z axis is perpendicular to the wing so we will find the force on the z axis so simply we will double click on the graph we will go to the force at z axis with respect to alpha that means with respect to change in angle of attack and here you can see the graph by simply seeing this graph you can understand that at 0 degrees you are getting a lift force of 4.6 newtons which means your airplane will be able to lift the force of 460 grams and as we will increase the angle of attack the capacity of increasing the lift the capacity of increasing the weight will increase it will become 6.465 which is near to 6.5 that means 650 grams at 2 degrees now if we want to change the velocity of analysis so we can come over here and we can type again 15 meter per second and we will run the analysis again and over here you can see the fast increase in the lift force as we increase the velocity at 0 degrees we are getting a lift force of nearly 10.2 which means at 15 deg at 15 meter per second our aircraft or airplane is capable of lifting 1 kg of 1 kg of weight Similarly, by doing experiments with the wing size and wing shapes, by importing different types of airfoils, we can see their properties, where we can see their lift properties over here. For now, we can just ignore this part. Once we get understand, once we get handy to this software, we get understands the basics of this software, we can explore this components too, like coefficient of lift coefficient of drag, coefficient of momentum, coefficient of viscous, coefficient of moment induced and many more. This graph coefficient of lift versus alpha is the same graph we used before to calculate the coefficient of lift of airfoil from airfoiltools.com. Now we will see how to export the parts as a CAD model. Here we have the option of export to STL. 
we will first export the body okay as you can see I have got the CAD model of the desktop and here we have the CAD model similarly we can export the main wing as well as elevators and fins okay I'll just change the name from fixed wing drone one to two and here we have the CAD model of the wing we can export the different parts of our CAD model and we can assemble them in Fusion 360 or SOLIDWORKS this time we will see some animated results of the simulation for animation we can add the body since that will not affect you we will go to the analysis part define an analysis import this method and analyze now at the right section you can see you have a lot of options of CP, lift, induced drag, transition, surface velocity etc first we will check the CP CP is nothing but the pressure, coefficient of pressure developed on the top surface of the wing here you can see the values of the pressure according to the color lift force Similarly, induced drag in the top view. Now you can see induced drag is produced by horizontal. The induced drag is produced more by the horizontal stabilizer as compared to the wing. Surface velocity. Down wash. The most interesting stream. The behavior of the streamlines will change as you will change the angle. Yeah, as you can see over here at zero degrees, this is the behavior of the air. Here you can see the vortex produced at the end of the wings. We can reduce the vortex by just adding winglets. Winglets will also have to increase the lift of the wing this is the reason why we are adding the wing lines as you will change the angle of attack we will get the different type of steam line flow Using this way, you guys can simulate, you can understand the behavior of airplane in the air. You can find the value of lift and, and you can do a lot of changes in the wing according to your requirements. This software will help to explore this field. Thank you.